Hello, everybody. This is the Can't Tell Us Nothing show. Yo! Sound you're hearing are the group, the improv group out of Houston, Texas, Can't Tell Us Nothing. In mm -hmm. it, you'll find Tandy. Yeah! You'll find Amichi. Yeah! You'll find John. See? Beautiful. <laughs> and myself, Antoine. And like I said, we are an improv group out of Houston, Texas. And the show you're listening to normally will take topics, conversations, opinions, turn it into improv scenes on the spot, get back to the discussion. Today is a very different episode, actually. It's, we're we're going to get a little experimental here. A, a number of episodes back, there was a uh, an episode titled Antoine Hasn't Seen It. I'll put the link in the show notes. Um, but essentially what we were starting was a list of well, it was actually a couple of things we were tackling. Mm -hmm. One, we were tackling what makes a black movie. Yeah. What what actually <laughs> qualifies a movie as a black movie? But another thing we're qualifying or we're finding out is what goes on the list of black movies you must see. <laughs> um, and then on that list, what haven't I seen? <laughs> and I've come back and talk about it. Uh, one of the movies that we we uh, added to the list, added to the pantheon, was a movie from the year 1975. Called mm. Cooley High. Spin it, Don Cornelius. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way you did it from 1975. From 1975. Very, very Don Cornelius. Very soul trained of. <laughs> <laughs> and so I still haven't seen it, <laughs> but I do. I did make get a copy of it, okay. and we're actually gonna we're gonna try something out here. We're gonna play the movie uh, over this podcast, over this Zoom conference that we have going on and we'll watch it together. And if the movie inspires improv, then we'll, we'll bust into that. <laughs> so we're gonna pause it and then do a scene. Yeah, then we'll pause it and we'll do a scene. <laughs> I, think, I, I think it's something, you know, I think if something comes up in the movie and you know, we wanna talk about it yeah. or explore it, we should pause it, have mm -hmm. a conversation. And then, yes. you know, if the conversation or the movie inspires the scene, then there, there we are, right? Oh, I'm on. Yeah. 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 Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Great. Now, before before we I press play on this, I want to hear from the people who have seen this movie. What was your experience like seeing the movie initially? Like, how long ago did you see it? What was the context? What you think when you saw it? If you remember. Mm. I don't remember going to the movie theater to see it. Like, I don't think my parents took me there. I remember watching it. I think on television. And, uh, you know, I was a young person. Um, I can't remember the age, maybe teen years, maybe. Uh, and um, this, this is just a beautiful piece of work. It, it taught me, <clears throat> well, not really about Chicago, but showed me like a little slice of life of Chicago. I had no concept of that uh, other than good times. And that was filmed in, in where? LA or, or New York, you know, not even in Chicago, I don't think. And, um, uh, you know, it had some, I, I recognize Garrett Morris from uh, Saturday Night Live and uh, and other shows. So, you know, it had some people in there, a young, now looking back, like a, a young Glenn Terman, but he's forever preached to me. And, oh, and Hilton Jacob from Welcome Back Carter. That was another big thing, right? Because we loved him on uh, Welcome Back Carter. So to see him in this movie. Um, yeah, it was kind of a cast of characters, a little slice of life of a city I didn't grow up in. And you know, from a time period that we weren't in, but you know, I guess, it, what was it, the 60s or something in, in Chicago? So the old music, all of that. It was just, it was just a great work with some quotable quotes and some forever, some characters that will live on forever. Awesome. Like, yeah. John, you saw it. What do you think? What, how did it touch well, my, you? Mine wasn't as uh, <laughs> yours. <laughs> I think I was, I don't remember exactly where I was, but I know when I watched it, I saw, I, I saw the, I'm not going to spoil the part, but it was a part in it that's just, you know, legendary part. Um, and I remember being scarred by that part <laughs> for years. That was my first introduction. Is that the was beginning the, of the movie? Huh? The I'm, part at the beginning? Well, I'm not going to spoil it. Okay. It was just a part that happens in the movies, you know, that tra traumatized me. Okay. Um, but I never forgot it. And I just remember my mom telling me the name of the movie. Cause I was like, what is that? She was like, it's called Cooley Eye. And I thought she was crazy. I never heard of nothing like that. Uh -huh. I, I had no idea what it was about. 
Um, and then I watched it as I got older again and, and I could understand what I was watching, like Tandy said, and um, been a fan ever since. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Amici? I actually haven't seen this one. All so, right. We're in the same boat. New experience for me as well. People in my midst have never seen Cooley High. <laughs> I don't even, what do we have in common? How do we know each other? <laughs> Cooley High taught you everything you know, right, Tandy? Oh, uh, no, not a lot. Okay. But it, ma it gave me a false sense of what uh, your teen years would be like. But again, it was set in the 60s. These people had some freedoms that, uh, you know, I did not enjoy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, then on that note, let's go ahead and get to it. Yeah, Everybody, yeah. Cooley High. Yay! Classic MGM Lion. Mm -hmm. You think those were like? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, we we cut to uh we cut to a, a group of kids <laughs> as they just finished uh, running across around the corner of a building. Hey, everybody, slow down, slow down, slow down. Wait. Yeah. Uh huh. You guys, you know I love skipping school with you guys. You, uh, getting out of the, that boring class and getting into trouble like this is this is great, but. Uh -huh. Here, I feel like we don't get into a lot of trouble because we're just running everywhere. All we do is run. Like, let's go somewhere. Let's go to a movie or something. Oh, you want to run past? You want to run past Cinemark? You want to? You want to? No, run no. I want to go. Yeah, I want to. I want to go into with. the Cinemark and like sit down and like get some air conditioning. It's hot out here. What? Oh, you want to run into the Cinemark and then run back out as fast as we can? No, no. I just, I just want to sit down and. Enjoy. Why do you guys like running so much? Why, well, what, what's I, the deal I, look, with I like running because my mom, she refuses to buy me sweatpants. So she buys these khakis, and I'm just going to keep running until, the, until she buys me sweatpants so I don't have to keep bursting out of my khakis, okay? You're, you're trying to wear down your khakis by running yes. so much? It takes me about 100, about 100 miles I can get out of some khakis running. So we got, we got a lot more running to do, man. Yeah, and I like to run because... I, I'm, I'm kind of awkward and I don't exactly know what to say. So when I get nervous, you know, if I, I I'm you're not, backing away right now. Oh, hold on. Let me just jog right here. Just jog in place. Just jog in place. Mm. <laughs> you don't have to jog in place. You no, don't no, have to I, jog. Uh, there you go. You put me on the spot again. I just don't know what to say. And it, instead of <laughs> instead of saying the wrong thing, I'd much rather run. I'll be back. Bye. All right. Take a lap, I guess. Oh, where are you going? I'm coming after you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Meet you, meet you, meet you. Yeah. Do you, what's it, do you, are those your friends? Like, do you yeah. like running as much as they do? Man, I, I, I live to run. You know that? You know there's a, there's a track team at school. You just, you can focus your running there. I thought we were going to get into trouble. I thought we were going to, like, do some petty thefts and steal things and graffiti. Like, you know, fun kid stuff. Yeah, we will as soon as we find the perfect crime to commit. But until then, we're going to keep running until we, we you know, we cover enough ground to find the perfect crime. So... You're on the search for the perfect crime? Yeah. Do you have any idea what it is? I, I, I'll, I'll be happy to help you commit the perfect crime, man. Just give me an idea. You know, I think it's one of the things you know when you see it. So we just got to keep, keep going, you know? But I got, I got a hole in my flats right now. I can't keep running. I'm going <laughs> to run out of my shoes. I won't be able to join you guys. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. What were you guys talking about? <sighs> Oh, well, Amici yeah. was talking about the perfect crime. He ever talked to you about that? Oh, yeah, yeah. If we ever just come across the, the perfect crime, we're going to know it when we see it. But uh, mm. we just got to keep running to find it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, have you ever thought about what that might be? Well, for me, the perfect crime would potentially be going to a khaki factory <laughs> and, like, shutting down all the production lines so we ain't never got to buy no more khakis. That'd be you want to shut down the production line of khakis? Mm-hmm. Wow. By Strauss, whoever, you, uh, Gap, all of them. It's a good crime. That was, that was <laughs> perfect crime is me. But that's just my opinion. I know y'all probably got other opinions. They all take a moment to think about, like, how <laughs> they could run into the khaki factory and run around shutting things off. You know, guys, I'm actually a better thinker when I'm running. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Right. And scene. <laughs> Shutting down the khaki factory. Yeah. All right, back. Pause it.
we cut to uh, we, cut, we cut to outside of Houston Zoo. Dang, Michi, man, why don't you just take that shirt off, man? Like nobody wants to smell all that monkey shit on your shirt, dude. I said I would buy you another shirt. I know, but your shirt means a lot to me, you know. I get it. I get that it. it means a lot to you, man. Yeah. My grandmother bought me this shirt. Remember I found five dollars on the floor that time? I was wearing this shirt. Yeah. This shirt brings me good luck. I can't just throw it away. We got we gotta do something. I mean, there's literally monkey shit right on your shirt, dude. We were supposed to go double dating after this. We can't go on a double date after this. I wore the shirt because it gives me good luck. I think it's gonna give us good luck tonight on this double date. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna keep it on, see how it goes. All right, well, you know, you're the luckiest guy I know. So <laughs> hopefully we can score tonight. And um, mm-hmm. and you can. And you, know, you know what they say, right? When the bird poops on you, that's good luck. When the gorilla poops on you, that's even. That's gonna be even better luck. And as he said, that two birds pooped on his shoulder. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> cool, dude. You're like an animal toilet, man. It's like that's three animals that didn't shit on you in the last two hours, dude. This, this, this is all good. look. This night's gonna be amazing now. Like we, we're gonna have all the best luck that you know. At, than, than, than we, we could ever even, even imagine. This, this is going to be great. Okay. The girls look pretty materialistic from their, pi- their pictures on Tinder. I know, but, you know, just, just, just have a little bit of faith. I, th- I think it's, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work out. We cut to the dinner. So, ladies, um, how's everything going? Food tastes good. It tastes okay, but something, I don't know. I feel like this restaurant, maybe it's the cheese. There's yeah, something it's smelly something, here. Something smelly. Maybe something the, smelly. Yeah, maybe the floors, they're not mopped well. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Probably it's the having floors. a really lovely time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's crazy that they had all those extra croissants they could just give us. I know. All right, good luck, right? <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> it is. Yeah. So I just wanted to let you let you gals know that my main man here right here, Michi right here, he's one of the luckiest guys I've ever met. Oh, really? Do you get lucky often, Amichi? Yeah. I mean, usually when I'm wearing this shirt, I do. Oh, the shirt, huh? It is a nice shirt. Mm-hmm. Is, is that uh, normally, does it normally have that coloration on it? Um, no, um, I... I Picked up a little bit of extra luck uh, on my way uh, around town today, so. That's mysterious. Yeah. Extra luck? Yeah, yeah, extra luck. A whole lot of extra luck. He needed yeah. some so that I could get some extra luck from being with him. Yeah. Oh. You, know, you know how when they, when they say, like, you know, if a bird poops on you, it's good luck? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That happened to me twice. And also a gorilla uh, pooped on me, threw poop at me as well hit my shirt, so that's even more good luck, so. I'm sorry, were you at the Houston Zoo? Yes. Was, mm-hmm. was it Lolo, Lolo the gorilla? Did yeah. she oh, yeah. mm-hmm. oh my goodness. What? Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? Remember Farrah, I told you about this. When what? Lolo the gorilla throws poop at you, then you should go to the, to, to downtown, to the city office, you ask to speak with the mayor, you get a key to the city. All of your taxes are paid for the next 10 years. And you get a, a, a plot of land to build whatever you want on free of charge, no taxes. It's, it's in the city gorilla shit clause. Really? I do what? remember you telling me about that. You remember and that I thought that was crazy. Oh my gosh, you are so lucky. And that's your date, this guy? He, he had the Lolo gorilla shit. He's got the, the gorilla shit claws look. Oh my we, cut to, we cut to five years in the future. He has a huge plot of land. There's a huge house on it. He's having a, he's having a house party. He's talking to some of his richer friends. Michi, I, I never asked how you, how you gained your wealth. This, 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 this house, this mansion is beautiful. And the furniture is impeccable. It's totally oh. squeezed. Yeah. Um, you see the shirt I'm wearing? <laughs> And scene. <laughs> I don't even. 
We don't even need that. <laughs> no, but back then, I mean, this guy, that was one of like three shirts he owned. There's mm -hmm. no way he could come home to that house without that shirt on. He, that, you didn't have like a plethora of clothes back then. That's why everything was so iron and taken care of. Cause yeah, you but you know, rich. still take it off. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in a plastic bag or something. Yeah. Like, stop wearing it. Yeah. Don't Do you understand away, the times we were in? There was no plastic bag. Everybody used paper bags. He didn't have a paper bag at his disposal. And you couldn't That's walk right. I mean, he, he was wearing an undershirt and a jacket. Like, he didn't need to wear that, <laughs> that middle layer was <laughs> irrelevant at the moment. Also, they're running everywhere. Like, he couldn't stop and look <laughs> for bags, I guess. That shirt had to be stinking. That's <laughs> awful. You really ever shit. stepped in dog poop? That must be like five times oh, more oh. smelly. <laughs> <Gross shit. laughs> on the chest on the chest also i think you just go home like to me that's a that's, day ender yeah like you just guys i'm gonna head on out <laughs> yeah. Yeah, unless, you you're going home, right? <laughs> unless you have an interview job interview oh man <laughs> we got the two dudes at the bar hey uh, uh john what's up bro you know we come out here we try to pick up some ladies and, uh, you know, do our thing, right? But I hear you saying every a lot of times that you'll do it if I do it. Like, you know, I offer to buy him a drink. And That's you're right. like, oh, yeah, I'll buy him a drink if, if Antoine buys you a drink. That's right. I don't know why you why you're putting that on me, man. You can make your own moves. Like, why do you have to follow my lead on everything? It's, it's weird. Well, you know, uh, you my partner, right? Sure, sure. Uh, we got each other back. That's right. I got your back. We take a bullet for each other, right? That's right, man. If it came down to it. That's right. So I figured if you do it, I do it. You take a bullet for me, and then I'll take one for you. You buy okay. a drink, and I'll buy a grill drink. Well, so I can we just agree that, like, beforehand, that if they want to, you know, if you want to buy them a drink, just buy them a drink. You don't even have to wait for me. Just feel free. You you have... I, I, I'll feel free to do it if you feel free to do it. <laughs> I do feel free to do it. And I feel free to do it, too. All right. All right. Cool. Then let's... Uh, oh, look at these. Look at these two ladies. Let's go. Uh, let's go say hello. Okay. Let's go up. Let's go. Let's go. All right. All right. So, Amitalina, what yeah. I was saying is... Yeah. I mean, I don't want to work at Baines and, and Brooke anymore. And, um, you know, I know you don't want to work there. So it's... What's up, ladies? How y'all doing? What's oh. going on? Oh. Hi. I saw Hi. you sitting alone at the bar here. Drinks mm -hmm. were a little low. Yeah. And see, me and my partner already didn't discuss how we was going to buy you guys some drinks. I uh, didn't have to say that we already were to buy you a drink, but I'm going to buy you a drink just because I want to buy you drink unless my partner changes his mind let me check with my partner real you quick. don't have to check you don't have to check with me you hey, don't have to what are you still trying to buy drinks for these girls man yes man yes let's buy them a drink you don't need to check with me beforehand okay i just want to make sure we're still on the same page still on the same page man you still want to take a bullet for me uh yeah sure if it came I'll down to it for you i got you all right all right all right, all right. um so, you so know we can hear you I'm not sure what's going on with being on the same page or bullets or what have you. I mean, if you just want to buy us a drink, just, just buy us a drink. I, you know, it's okay. You know. It's Baby, you don't need to worry about all that, all right? All you need to worry about is what's going in your glass. What are you drinking on? Is that a, a vodka tonic or what? what a cranberry vodka? What are you drinking? Yeah, yeah, vodka cranberry. Okay. All right. What about you, vodka you, though, you want a vodka cranberry, too? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm drinking the same thing, so that's fine. Yeah, get the lady here uh, vodka and cranberry, too. Nice, nice. Yes. Yeah. Nice. So, uh, yeah. my name's Antoine. It's my man John right here. What's your name? I'm Tandy, and this is this is my friend, uh, a Michelina. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, what was that name again? A Michelina. A Michelina. A Michelina. Such a pretty name. Thank you. Such a pretty name. You know, Mitalina, there's a lot of things going through my mind right now, just hearing your name and seeing you with that nice coat body shape. 
a lot of things like like what? What what is it something you specifically well, well me and my partner didn't discuss if we were gonna go that far. You know, and I haven't seen him make any moves on his girl, so I'm just gonna stay, you know, right here real neutral with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. <How's that? laughs> so you need to talk to him to find out how you're feeling. He doesn't. He doesn't. He's, he's his own man and a, and a hell of a man at that, aren't you, John? Yeah, yeah. We, 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 we kind of like two men together. We're like peas in the pod. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, he's my, he's my boy. He's my, he's there's, there's nothing my brother. I, I won't do that he's not going to do with me. We're going to do this. We're going to do everything together. I'm, I'm, that's fine. I'm sorry, Antoine. I mean, I know you guys seem to be joined at the hip. But a Michelina has a drink already, and I haven't gotten mine. Did you say oh. you were gonna buy me a drink? You're, you really g- focused on girl. Them. You <laughs> are you are right. Let me let me go ahead and get you a drink. Hey bartender, okay. let's get the lady uh, vodka cranberry as well, please. I am so sorry. No problem. So uh, what what do you do, uh, Antoine? What what line of work are you in? Oh me? Well. Uh-huh. I, I do program management. You know, I'm, I'm I'm over here telling people what to do. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> they they, they the want boss. they want to make a movie. They come to me. You know. That's, oh, okay. That's okay. right. That's right. What about you, John? Uh, I, I'm also in program management. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and my partner right here. We graduated at the same time. Got hired by the same company. Get paid the same exact thing. So you guys are getting this really good package right here. I mean, this doesn't get no better than this. Package? Package? Yeah, yeah. So if you if your girl Michelina, she date me, that means you gotta date my boy. It, it, it does not. It does not. It does not mean that. Oh wow! <laughs> you oh, don't wow. have to do it. I mean, gonna... If I'm gonna get some booty. My man Antoine right here gotta get some. All right, booty. hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me talk to my man John for a second. John, what are you talking up, about man? right now, man? You're making it seem like it's some sort of contractual obligation. Like it's like it's a, like you said, a package deal, man. They, they, they're not going to go for that. What, what do you mean they're not going to go for that? Two is better than one. What, look. I know you always say that. You and told sometimes me. This. I, sometimes I wonder if, if, if you, we're on the same page of what that means. Two is better than one. Look. It, 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 listen, you what? told me that I was my own man. You are. I do it my way. Yeah. I'm trying to do it, Antoine. I'm just trying to, this is how I, this is how I view that you would do it. If I gave you that talk you gave me, you would do it this way, right? Because we have the same thoughts. We, uh, not, not You're really. The exact person. We've been friends forever. We laugh at all the same jokes. We're not the, John, John, we're not the same person. You're John. I'm Antoine. We're, we, we, yeah, we've been friends for a long time. You're one of my, you're my closest friend, lifelong buddy of mine, work at the same job, do a lot of, we do a lot of the same, we do do a lot of the same things. Yeah. So I like, think we get back oh. over to the girls before they leave. And that shit just, just reeling in. You follow my lead now. Okay? Huh. All right. Sure. Yeah. Let's try that. Let's try that. Is that okay with you? Because I don't, I don't want to. It's okay with me. It's okay with you. Oh, yeah. It's definitely okay with me. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take the lead if it's not okay with you. Well, you know, I don't. I mean, I feel like I've been leading a long time. So you know, I don't. If you want to take the lead, I'm cool with that. If you're cool with that, I'm cool with that. Hey guys, sorry. Why you were um, yeah. going back and forth? We finished our drink, so we're about to go home now. So hey, we're gonna go. Thank yeah. you. So Have much. a good night. Thank you. And scene. <laughs> <laughs> Never get anything done. Oh God. But uh. <laughs> Yeah, these girls were not introduced. No. <laughs> no, no, who these women are. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's a, we just, we come into their lives as it's just going on. <laughs> and they just shut them down. Man. No sauce. <laughs> oh. I like that they're in the hallway, though, because that tells you, like, yeah, neither, no one has a place to go <laughs> to do this stuff. <laughs> this is the closest thing they got. Here's a video you should show parents when they say that, you know, there's too much technology in the world. Because mm-hmm. this could only exist because there are no internet. So nobody knows where anybody is. Mom's probably at the house or at work. Daddy's at work. If the, if the school don't give it down, they just running them up. That's it. That's it, you know. 
Yeah, you mentioned uh, you mentioned freedom earlier, Candy. Like how much freedom they had back in the day. Like, do you feel like because of technology and our advancements that people, the youth, young adults, have less freedom now than they used to? Mm, I don't know if it's the technology. I I just think that people are more guarded. There's no, um, you know, there's no children have to be children and teens have to be managed and. You always have to know where they are. You always have to, um, uh, I mean, not like know where they are, like they're out there and you know where they've gone, but like be with you. It's like, you know, there's this whole thing, like the world is very dangerous. You got to stay close to me so I can protect you. That kind of sense. Whereas back then it was like, you know, the world is the world. Just get on out there. And you heard of bad things happening to, to kids or, or, you know, young people every now and then. Whereas now it's like, you know, milk cartons, uh, the wall at Walmart by the bathroom, it's just all this language about who's missing, who's been abducted, who's, you know, something terrible has happened to. So I think there's a lot more fear now. And so people just keep their children closer, not that they need to know where they are with a cell phone, but it's like, oh, you know, no, you can't go there. No, don't do this. Just stay around the house kind of kind of deal. I don't know. That's what I think. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the news wasn't big then. They weren't selling fear. It wasn't um. It wasn't no competition. They didn't have to. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. That's true. The news. Mm -hmm. Now it's it's beautiful and sunny. Yeah, you can get your news anywhere now. Multiple Mm -hmm. different broadcast stations, stations I never even heard of over here doing news. Some dude on the internet gives you news, like so. Now they all have to compete with each other and sell yeah. fear the lowest yeah. bargain prices. Oh, in fact, the news probably lied to you more back in the day because they didn't want anybody to think it was a bad time, you know. I don't think <laughs> they knew. I just don't think that, you know, there was knowledge of this or or they, they didn't feel, I don't know, maybe they didn't feel that they had to talk about it. But now, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Another perfect day in Chicago here. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Not a single thing has gone wrong today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you messed up my chip eating, boy. Turn the music back off. Stays <laughs> with chips. I'm making her own personal bowl. No one else has a bowl. <laughs> Somebody handed her a bowl of chips and said, action. <laughs> Cancel. Uh, we, cut to, uh, we cut to the group of uh, school kids who, who run a lot outside of, uh, out of a khaki factory. All right, guys. So I heard that they're going to have a big party here in the khaki factory, the khaki party, if you will. Mm. And uh, I think if we get in there, uh-huh. Maybe we can commit the perfect crime. Yes. Yeah. Like that. I'm I'm down with that. Down uh, with that? Yeah. All right, everybody have a quarter? It costs a quarter to get in. Oh. All my change went, fell out of my pockets when I was running. Yeah, I don't carry change. I, I just have my uh my Apple Pay. <laughs> I mean <laughs> an Apple Pay. All right, what what about you? I mean, you got you have quarters for the rest? I only brought my one quarter. Okay, I stopped carrying quarters because of all the running we do. Like, it gave me, gave me bruises with all the change in my pocket, so. Yeah, my mom could, yeah, if I change in my pocket, my mom can hear me leaving the house. I want to leave quietly. I don't want anybody to know I'm, I'm gone. Hey, uh, what I do have in my pocket is a bag of chips. Does anybody want any? Oh, I will stop running for chips. Mm-hmm. Chips too. Are my I do thing. love some chips, man. And in fact, if I saw if I saw a girl eating some chips, I gotta go talk to her immediately. Uh, before I talk to her. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. I gotta that's, talk to her. You go to like, you know, any kind of social event, like a, a family party or whatever. Like I, I I will not talk to a girl unless like she is she's eating chips. Oh, it's a requirement for you to talk something to something about that. They they yeah. they need to have chips or else you won't talk to them. Well, it means something, you know. A girl who'll eat a chip is a girl who'll listen to you tell a story and <laughs> won't even stop you. 
but she's got something to do. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, I bet there's girls eating chips at this party. We got to find a way to get in there. And just as he says that, a bird flies by and poops on Amishi's shoulder. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Dude, they just, just got bombed, Amishi. No, no, this, this is good luck. This is, we're going to get into the party somehow and commit to have a crime. I know it now. I just, I just got pooped on. <laughs> well, we need luck. Uh, how, do you, how do you use it, man? <laughs> like, yeah, make something man. happen. Okay, um, how, g- give me one of those chips. <laughs> Gonna throw it in through this window. <laughs> the music stops. <laughs> Everybody looks the other way. All right, now, <laughs> sneak in. And as people are running out of the building, they sneak into the building. <laughs> All right. This All right, made it, it worked. But there's yeah. nobody in here. Everybody... Was there a party? I mean, I see. I don't know why they all ran out because the music what? stopped. <laughs> but hey, I guess this is we we we're in. We're in the factory. The perfect crime. And, and you know what? The, what? The production lines are stopped. Everybody ran out of the factory. The perfect we, crime. Okay, we can sabotage. Made, we can sabotage it. We can make it so it never starts up again. And I actually re- memorized the blueprints. I wrote it down a few weeks back. I didn't know what I was going to use it for, but I just thought I'd keep it on me. <laughs> Here are the blueprints to the factory. Why are they wet? I dropped it in the toilet oh, before I got oh, here. Man. Jeez, man. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's open it up before this thing starts to bleed. Okay. Blueprint. Blueprints. Okay, I'm going to run around out back because it looks like uh, I got to dismantle um, the electricity so that it, 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 can, uh, it can turn off the alarm. I'll be right back. And as they're, as they're going over the plan, the two uh, program managers are <laughs> at, a, at a, higher, on a higher level overlooking the kids. Hey, do you think we should go uh, stop those kids from what they're doing? They shouldn't be here. Well, I was kind of waiting on you to go down there first before I was going to go down there. Well, see, I was going to follow your lead on this. I thought, you know, if you're going to do it, I would do it. Because, you know, I'd take a bullet for you. That's true. You would take a bullet for you. How about we do this? How about we go? I go down first, and then you go down. Mm-hmm. We stand on both sides of them. Mm-hmm. Hey, guys, uh, sorry to interrupt. We're, we're down destroying the factory. We're going to leave now. <laughs> it's <Us>. seen. <laughs> and that is the Can't Tell Us Nothing show, everybody. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for chilling with us as we do this. I I mean with this one you kind of have to watch the video of it to really yeah. get the full effect. <laughs> uh, so make make sure you watch it on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, but yeah, this was a lot of fun. I say we we uh, we keep kind of working with this. This is and we got to finish the movie as well. We do. Yeah, we're about thirty one minutes into it. <laughs> if, if on your own you'd like to go ahead and finish, and then you know we talk about it as a group. We can do that too. If you have any questions, any other gaps you need to fill in, <laughs> it gets more interesting as the story unfolds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, do yourself a favor. On a Friday night, after you skip work, ride on the back of a ride on the back of a bus without paying, um, sneak into the zoo and steal some food, uh, uh, go to your local hangout bar and shoot craps in the back, and get chased out by a meat cleaver, make out with two girls that you're not married to <laughs> and then, and then uh, drink know, in an sneak, alleyway drink in an alleyway meet me at a party later I'll be the one holding chips and then we can talk about the <laughs> everywhere you go and you have to run the whole time that's right no. you, forgot, you forgot at the beginning of the day you gotta get beaten up by a friend who throws you out of bed oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> friend had to literally push you out of bed and fall on the floor and, and, and throws clothes on you to get dressed. A body shame as well. <laughs> body <laughs> shame. <laughs> so yes, everybody, that, that is Cooley High. We are Can't Tell Us Nothing. For for Dandy, for Miji, for John, for myself, Antoine, thank you for listening. Find out our stuff. See Ton Improv on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. See Ton Improv.com. So much content, so much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Mockingbird for the podcast, Spotify, iTunes, whatever you get your podcast. Check us out. Anything else? All right, then we are out. See if I figure out stuff.